As you mentioned at the top there, we're at the risk of losing our global eradicated status for measles here in the U.S. And I reported on the ground in South Carolina. Want to play a little bit of what a pediatrician told us there. Yeah, we've had a few families that totally against vaccinations, but again, once they see the real world implication of these diseases and what they can possibly do to people, again, they start thinking, I don't know, maybe we need to do this after all. So clearly, you know, when this truly impacts your community, you start to maybe change your mind a bit. But there is still lingering vaccine hesitancy and refusal in a pocket of South Carolina. That's reflective of some other places in the country. Vast majority of cases are in kids who are unvaccinated, as you well know, or have an unknown vaccination status, doctor. So we've heard from experts rely on your pediatrician for guidance. But as a physician, I'd love to know from you. When the onus is placed on a pediatrician or on a doctor to convince your patient to take a vaccine when you don't really have that support from the federal government, what is that like? 